We're gonna backfill. We decided that today is the day we're gonna backfill, release the starboard side, and that's what I'm gonna do. Simple. Sika 295 in all the seams to stop the water from going in here through the sides. Somewhat nice scene. Oh, this is always too much, huh? And next to backfilling with Sika, we also worked on the final fitting of the chrome steel cover frames. <laughs> Drop of what oil fell on me. This doesn't work. We're doing something wrong and I'm trying to um, increase the diameter of the boring holes and the chrome steel is too hard, our drills are too weak, whatever I'm doing wrong, something kills the drills. So that's again one of those jobs that you think like, yeah, we just glue in the frame. Of course, it doesn't work out that easily. And in the end, you spend hours on making the holes bigger and then it will be evening until the frames in, are in now. But that's both jobs, they always end up like this. We had to pause the project of uh, drilling holes into the chrome steel frames because we we screwed it up, ruined two, three drills, and now we need to get new drills and figure out how to do that correctly. But because we don't want to sit around idle, it's refilling time again. So in the end, it it's became the next day instead of just the evening that we were able to continue with the chrome steel frames so welcome to the next day i shortly take you through the process of finishing the inox frames for the windows these are the outermost frames so the one that make it look shiny and posh so these are the frames and for that they fit perfectly into the hull we have to shave on a little bit here on the side. We have to drill the holes again in the, in the outer frames. And this is inox. So we managed to kill three drills yesterday. So today I went to buy new drills. So when's the water used? Huh? When's the water used? Now. Ah. It pulls the drill so it when I hold it into the water and it has a lot of water on it. And that's because we're drilling in chrome steel which is hard and may not become hot. You can easily see the water smoking away. Ah. Next step is flattening down the holes that we had to drill again. So those little rims here. Or here. Now the last step is to polish and for that we have this polish 
not that one that was for filling this polish thingy that we use with the flex too and now let's polish polish time And because time is really running here and Zika needs time to cure, here's already the next day. Hello. We are gluing in the windows. No, that's not even correct. We have glued in the windows. We are gluing on and screwing on the outer frames. One of the last steps of um, doing the windows. Have a look over here. That's how it's supposed to look. So we have the outer chrome seal frame. This is the 15 mil plate. These are spacers that we have enough space. And the screws will be changed to lock nuts. Uh, the, the nuts will be changed to lock nuts after it has cured. It's almost. We are on the finish, near the finish line with the windows. Near the finish line. So. On the outside only screw and glue on chrome seal frames, then sand and paint the hull. From the inside at the inner wooden frames, kind of of the wood paneling, paint, paint and yeah, so we're no nowhere near done, but it feels like we're done because the let's say the engineering part is, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. is done. Yeah. Important. Yeah. Nah, it's just about the next thing is just paint. Seco flexing is an art. You need to be in the moment, activate your Zen. And then you can make the perfect beat. Om. This is the worst fitting frame that we picked for filming. Can you actually hold it like this? Yeah. Then help push a bit here. And so another day passed and next day was really time to put on that paint. So Robert is sanding the last bit of the paint so that it is ready to put the top coat on. Guys, we are putting on the top lock. The last layer on the windows. Well, second last because we put two layers of top lock and it I think it gets really nice yeah this is finishing the windows also at this point maybe hi Oliver thanks for <laughs> checking by yeah I was really nice that you came by okay I'm putting on the top coat international top lock with the uh, rolling tip. Mm -hmm. So 
Kira is applying the paint in a thin layer with the roller and I'm using very soft strokes with a brush to even it out and apparently this is the best method to get the clearest, cleanest finish without spraying because it should be shiny and nice. Oh yeah, I can see how I can I get rid of the bubbles. Yeah? It's nice, yeah. Und den Gast da noch wie mehr da und den Gast noch zwei von dir. All right. So check out the result. Can you see my reflection? Actually, you can reflection. see my reflection. Ah. This is actually a decent. Oh, oh perfect, is it? There's a fly. There's something in this paint that attracts the flies. They just like, come all. Yeah, guys, why do you do that? It's wet paint. It's not good. Not for you, not for me. Don't you stick in my high. paint. The paint is still wet, so it might be a bit less shiny tomorrow morning, but. I'm happy. I'm pretty excited. Didn't think that it will end up that nice. Yeah, this is. Um, Actually, it is top. It's top luck. Oh. <laughs> All right. I'm not sure what she's doing. guys that was the window project what a work it was it took us a long long time way longer than we thought and it was not that easy to get those windows to be watertight and to make everything fit also we used loads of sticker flex but hey the result is amazing it looks great and after more than a year, Ton Lake finally has windows again. So thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and join us next time when we tackle a new project. Wow.